point game going into the fourth quarter, and then the wheels fell off. And then when they got a little bit of a lead and we had to foul, they made their free throws. They were big from the free throws. The free throws were 24 to 9, and uh, they made it. I mean, I think they were 21 to 24. Mm -hmm. we, and, you know, the, the foul disparity wasn't because they were calling them, and we fouled at the end, but they stepped up and they made them. The differences in the game is Jones' four games outstanding. Uh, not only did he, you know, get to the rim and score a lot of baskets, but he also made his free throws, and when he wasn't open, he got it to people that were. And then, of course, Coleman's a low man. That dude was so good. And he, was a, he was a tough matchup. Of course, I think he had... Oh, yeah, 19, maybe more. I, I know Jones had 20, but I, I think Coleman's right up, up there with him. Um, and Coleman 15. 15, so 20, 15, and then we were not counting on uh, the freshman. Loving Watts, I think he had 11. Wouldn't count on that. So, you know, these things happen in these kind of games. Somebody steps up that you weren't really expecting, and it was them. You know, up, up until the about a three or four minute run, we played pretty well. I mean, the first half is great. Mm -hmm. Twice tonight, we had the ball, and we're kind of running the game up three, four points, and we shoot it with six or seven seconds, or turn it over, and they go down and we foul it. It's like the momentum just changed. So we got to get better at that. The thing, the thing is, I think all the things that we did poorly tonight, we can still get better. I really feel comfortable about our team, and I think we're going to get better at it. You know, our freshmen are still going to be really good. Mm -hmm. A couple times I looked out there and I said, I can't believe they're freshmen. They're playing great. And they're going to make freshman mistakes, but I'm going to play. They're going to keep playing. They won't play less. They'll probably play more. Uh, they played zone mainly in the fourth quarter. How much did that affect you? I, I think it hurt us a little bit. I think uh, uh, other than Tucker hitting one out of the corner and Judy yeah. got a dunk on him uh, against the zone, I don't know if we hit any other shots out there. I really penetrated it very well. Uh, once they got the lead, though, we were playing. You know, when you play from behind, it's a lot easier to make shots than when you're ahead. They go in a lot. The rim gets bigger when you're ahead. The rim gets a lot smaller when you're behind. So I just keep that little plug away. But I still think this team can be really good. It'll take some time. You know, we got some time. But Jeff's a good team. They deserve, I mean, it was a good game. I thought it was a 50-50 game, and they, they got the little better of it. They deserve it. They played a little better than we did. What was your understanding of that intentional foul call? Did they tell you anything? I thought Juju got it down here, so I didn't think that I didn't think that Trey was already up into his motion. I thought he got it down here. He just, they said he didn't. They said he they said it was excessive. Like just he could have just reached and let go. He kept hanging on. He looked bad when he did it. It always looks bad. Yeah, I don't think he meant to hurt him or anything like that. It was a it was definitely uh, it was a hard foul. Thank you.